welcome back again this is shardul gavande from ace knowledge and in this video we are going to cover practical number 3 of our advanced mobile programming practical which is activity life cycle and methods in android okay so let's have a look of what exactly is this activity life cycle in android so this is a very important image of life cycle in android as you can see here uh, it starts with uh, activity launched and when the activity when the activity is launched we have this methods on create on start on resume when the activity is running and if another activity comes into the foreground then we have the method called on pause and if the activity is no longer visible to the user we have on stop okay and then last is on destroy wherein it says that if the activity is finishing or destroyed or killed by the system we know we killed the app right so then this on destroy method is been called so now here if the user is on on pause and if he wants to return back to the activity then on resume would be called back again if the activity is not visible to the user where on stop method has been called and if he wants to restart his activity then on restart method would be called and then again on start okay so this is these are the methods of an android life cycle which gets executed as and when you uh, use your application by killing it restarting it resuming it stopping it so we'll have a look of this of all this method step by step so let's get, jump into our android studio over here i've already created a project called as life cycle and let's make a design in some part i'll change this i'll take it to relative and here there is a text view i don't want this text view so let me comment it so what i'm doing is i'm create i will create a button over here and on click of this button we would redirect to the next activity and we would see the changes or which methods are being called okay so let me get into my design view and over here let's drag and drop one single button okay under this relative layout let gives let us give the attribute for this button for this text i would give it as to about us then uh, let me put it to a center so layout underscore underscore center horizontal let me do it through then next would be the um, top margin so margin layout underscore margin top i want it let's say 80 db okay fine so 80 db is fine is it has it appeared yes okay so now that i have configured the design part let us come back to our activity and over here uh, let me change the button id and give your as about underscore us okay since in the previous video we have seen how did we fetch our string values so similarly now it's time for button okay so i'll come over here in the main activity and i need to bind this button to my main activity right that is on click of when the user will click on this button he needs to navigate to the about us page or about us activity so i need to bind the button uh, gui component button in in my main activity to some variable okay so let me first create a file about us since we are going to click on the about us button and navigate to that file so kotlin file or class i'll create a new java class about us select kind as class okay so this is my new about us dot kt file and now i'll bind that button over here to a variable so variable about underscore us equal to i would bind it using find view by id of that button so find view by id of which gui component it is button we are binding the gui component button to our main activity so name of the component is button so over here it will come button and from where it is coming so r dot id dot about underscore us 
okay so this is my id which i mentioned over here next so i bind it to my variable i need to uh, call on click listener activity on click listener method so when the user clicks on the button he should be redirected to about us dot kt file over here so for that i'll use this variable about underscore us which i have just now defined and method is set on click listener okay so it's this one set on click listener and under this i would write declare a variable as i which would have the intent so on click of button it should navigate to about us dot kt so navigation between uh, activities two different activities is done with the help of intent as we have in dot net as response dot redirect right in html we have different kinds of uh, href so in uh, android we have intent to navigate from one activity to another so declare a variable i and then under that intent so from where to where you have to go so i want to navigate from this main activity so this i would type here this which is nothing but my main activity to where to the about us dot kt file so i would write here about us and it is a class file so colon and type of file which is class dot java and i need to start this activity so i have start activity and pass the variable i over here so this is how you bind and navigate to a different activity now i want to so after my on create this is my on create method right so outside my on create method i want this other methods also which we saw over here uh, on start on resume right i need to override this method so i have i need to override method so function i would say start uh, on start on start would come here on start okay then i have override function on stop okay so after on stop i have override function on pause then override function on destroy on stop was done write function on restart and override function on resume so i am done with the overriding of all these methods which we saw over here and now to monitor this methods over here in the log cat okay in the log cat i would see the methods which would be called as i proceed with changing of activities so what i need to define here is a global variable as let's give as a tag i need to define a tag over here equal to and i'll say main activity so it would represent under main activity which methods are being called based on what active or what navigations we perform okay so for on create method i would write here as log log dot d and over here the tag let me do it again log dot d the variable in tag comma the message which would be in on create okay so same thing i would copy and paste it for all of our methods only the difference would be despite of on create i would write on start so that it is understood by us that if this method is overwrite in the log cat we would see as in on start okay just for our purpose to understand how this life cycle works on stop and over here on pause over here destroy 
here on restart and over here on resume so we are done with on restart destroy pause stop start resume okay so now coming to the about us page when user will redirect to the about us page let us display some sort of message over here so since there are no methods created we need to create a method so by default which method gets uh, opened or launched when we open our activity is the on create method right so it gets called on launch of our activity so i'll copy directly from here some part of this code okay and the on create method from here a main activity till here i will copy here i would copy okay i don't want this set content view so i'll comment this and over here i'll say for on create over here also i need to print a log so again a variable well the same thing will copy from here itself because over on about us field also we need to monitor uh, which method has been called so here i would write as about us which would say that on create of about us activity about us activity fine and over here log dot d and this tag comma on inside on create okay. fine so log d and here i would print toast dot make text let print some message this comma you are under about us and toast dot length long dot show okay and again we'll do the same thing of overriding methods so i'll simply copy it despite of typing it again and i'll paste it over here fine on start everything is the same because it's this life cycle is for an activity right so before running the application make sure that in the android manifest.xml file you have uh, defined that activity as we have main activity over here so if not then uh, do define it otherwise it won't work when you navigate to about us activity so now that we have defined and let's try to run our program say okay and we'll monitor our log cat over here fine so this is our emulator and let's check what do we get installing apk and the application is launched let me open emulator so it would be our main activity which has an about us as a button so let's see in the log cat which activities are being called among this all activities so over here you can see for our main activity on create on start on resume is been called since the application is launched for the first time okay so if i go to my home directly without closing the app i just uh, go to the home screen so now let's check which activities are called so here in the main activity it is in on pause as you can see we have written here right in on pause just to uh, uh, just to check which uh, which method is being called so in on pause and in on stop so these two activities get called so if i go back again and open the application which was running in my background if i click here so we have which activities on restart on restart on start on resume of main activity so these are the activities which get called now let's go to about us if i click on about us and if i navigate 
we get a message you are under about us as a toast message and which activities are called so in about us on create on start on resume same as we had for main activity if i go back to the main activity i will have main activity on restart on start on resume okay so this is how the act uh, how the methods get called in an android life cycle based on how do we navigate or close the application let's check for the destroy one so if i press this back button and close this application the entire application so which activity would get called on destroy for about us and also on destroy for the main activity on stop and then on destroy means the application is killed by the system so this is how life cycle of android works by calling this different methods which go on executing as and when we uh, handle our android app so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe